Hi guys, I'm back again today with another reaction video and today we're reacting to um what is the Quran question mark what's the Quran by Dr. Gary Wills and this uh, in the description it says what did a devoted Christian find when he studied the Quran for a year? So let's see what this is all about. But before we do start, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell button to get notified whenever I do upload a video. We are super close to 90,000 subscribers. So if you want to subscribe, do so. Also, hopefully everybody's staying safe. You're staying home. You're staying healthy. Anyways, guys, let's check this out. What is the Quran? It is a set of 7th century revelations from God made to Muhammad in two cities, Mecca and Medina, in what is now Saudi Arabia. It heralds the truth that there is only one God, not the many gods still being worshipped in ancient Arabia. Of course, this was not the earliest revelation that there is only one God. That had mm. been taught in Hebrew to the Jews and in Greek to the Christians, before it was taught to Muslims in Arabic. Mm -hmm. These three sets of revelation set apart the people of the book, each with their own special covenant from the same God. There is only one. We believers in one God are on the same team, as it were, and should protect one another's places of worship, Aww. listed in the Quran as monasteries, churches, churches. synagogues, and mm -hmm. mosques where God's name is much invoked. The I Quran like does not confine God's action to the formal covenants of religion. God tells us that he sends messages to all men all the time, beginning with Adam, who repented his sin in the garden and became the first prophet. Ooh. The unending stream <clears throat> of prophets includes Moses and Jesus. Muhammad himself is the seal of the prophets, not as canceling former covenants, but as confirming them. Mm. But the love of God is not brought only by human messengers in the Quran. Creation itself is a set of messages from God, which speak a divine code that we are told to decipher. God's intent can be seen in the beauty and power of the universe. Moses does not speak alone on the mountain. The mountain speaks with him. Birds speak to Solomon. The world is constantly signaling to us, what? bringing us insights into the beauty and power of its maker. This should call us to a reverence for God's handiwork, an important message for our ecologically challenged era. Mm. The Quran has more of poetry in it than of legislation. It sets ethical norms while stressing the need for mercy in our dealing with God's fellow creatures. Force is allowed only for self-defense and never as a way of spreading religion. Mm -hmm. Commercial dealings with fellow Muslims or with non-Muslims should be meticulously fair and never extortionate. The relations of the sexes were still polygamous in the seventh century, as among the ancient Hebrews and the original Mormons, but women are to be honored in fact, the dowry that was paid to a husband's family by the bride's family mm. in Europe was paid in the Quran directly to the bride. Oh. And she retains this bride right even if the husband divorces her or if she divorces him. This carved out an area of women's rights unparalleled in the seventh century. The Quran is a book of many levels and great depths. Even non-Muslims can learn from it, as Pope Francis has proclaimed. I am Gary Wills for the Amerstein Center. Oh, that was really nice. I like him. Very mono mo uh, was this monotonous <laughs> in the way he speaks, but I still love him. I enjoyed what he was saying. Uh, there's a few seconds left. What is it? It's just the outro. Promoting empathy and understanding through religious and cultural. The city's illiteracy. I, I'm so bad at reading, so I have to like keep going back. Ah, yeah, literacy. But anyways, um, that was really informative. Very, very informative, and I like seeing the other perspective, like a devoted Christian studying 
the Quran. So it's like I like to see the perspectives and uh, I like people going into things open-mindedly and learning and teaching even if they're devoted in another sort of religion. Okay, um, I don't know if this is a real word, but I just saw this online. It's called omnis, uh, omnism or onimis. I don't even remember the, the name of the word. It's like not um, discriminating uh, religion, but actually accepting all together as one. You do your own research. I forgot the entirety of the, that word, but I like this sort of uh, eye-opening things. So I think I want to react to more of this kind because there's so much, so many people in the comments. They're like, oh my God, why are you watching like that uh, Islamic things? That's like evil and whatever. Anyways, each to their own right. But anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave in the comment section down below what other videos. It's like I don't have a freaking torso. But <laughs> leave in the comment section down below what other videos like to react to. The original link to this video will be in the description box down below. So it's my social media link. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.